I suffer from a condition that Anna diagnosed as a severe form of man flu. Une bouche. Une bouche. Une bouche. Une bouche. Bouche. Bush. 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 Now I hear you asking, where does he get the energy from? This power, this strength, this endurance. And now the real magic happens. I'm just trying to repair where you broke the molding. I sincerely hope Anna is proud of me. And what I'm gonna do now will turn this video viral. Perfect. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Hello, I'm sitting on my desk and what I'm going to do now will turn this video viral, if not super viral. And by the way, if you're not a subscriber of this channel yet, I would strongly suggest to subscribe immediately. Perhaps in a couple of minutes there will no more subscription be available. Anyways, I decided to film here and now myself setting up my new computer. Anna's afraid that just by announcing this, we will lose about 50% of our subscribers. So if you're not into computers, you can skip forward to this time code and there will be something like Anna painting a room or Anna decorating. But for everybody else, this is going to be an exciting moment. Up till now, I edited all my videos on an old laptop who was acquired to write emails, do office work, write screenplays, but it doesn't even have a graphic card, which means editing on this computer is painfully slow. It takes me about two days to edit a video and then a full night to render the video and to see it in its full resolution because the computer itself is too slow to show it in real time. But YouTube is taking off and thanks to you guys who watch advertising and those who donated on Buy Me A Coffee, I was able to buy a brand new super fast PC and it is here and I know you can't wait to see me unpack it. I'm so excited. In fact, I'm so excited that I had to take my jumper off and now you see me in my t-shirt with the paint stains on. But it doesn't matter, today's a special day. The computer is set up, it's all connected. I haven't switched it on yet. I want to switch it on, but I want to switch it on with you. So that's what we're gonna do now. But before, one more thing. Do you see this here? It has a glass on the side. And I'm gonna take this protective film off and then you can see inside, you can see the components. And this is geeky and it's silly. But it's kind of cool and it's fun and you would never find it on an Apple computer. Let's see. I think I switched the screen on first. Let's see if something happens. Oh, have you seen the, the lights? Now, there's a, there's a big switch. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can see it. Look, 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 there is something. Can you see this? I didn't know that would happen. That's exactly what I mean. Never ever you would have that on an Apple computer, would you? 
And if Anna sees this, she's gonna ask me immediately to move out of here. Now there's something on the screen. I don't know what that says. Boot priority. Click that. No, yes. The problem is I bought it without the windows installed because it seemed really expensive and I found a cheaper version online, but maybe that was a big mistake. Checking media presence, media present, good. Start, should I say yes? Or... Ooh, ooh, more light. Yes, yes, yes. Enter, enter. <gasps> oh, here again. I think that's exactly what I did before and nothing happened. Why didn't I just buy the windows? That's ridiculous. Okay, the computer doesn't work yet, but I do have this beautiful light here. So I think that compensates for everything. And luckily there's YouTube and somebody will tell me what to do. Thanks to my extremely precise instructions and continual encouragement, Natal managed to clean this room and it does look much better than it did ever before. I sincerely hope Anna is proud of me, but no time to rest. I need to get on with the plastering. You might remember me trying to repair this wall in last week's vlog. Now the mortar has dried and I can now take care of the finishing touches. Off camera, I cut this plasterboard into the right shape. And surprising as it might seem, it's a rather perfect fit, but there's another piece of plasterboard needed and I'm going to cut that now. I know there are rumors about me not being able to measure things. Seven centimeters here, and it should be the same down there, seven down there. And here we can go up to 77. That's what Benoit always does with his measuring tape. He, I don't know, he holds it like this and then oh, it works. No, maybe not. You can do it the traditional way. You also shouldn't use a piece of wood to make this cut because it's not precise, but I don't have anything else here for now. Perfect. And then about here. This is absolutely not how you should do it. I'm really, really pleased. Look at this. This is precision. And with a bit of luck, the camera is far away enough so you don't even see this gap. All is left to do is to mix up some adhesive mortar and glue that thing into place, fill the gap and be happy. You saw me mixing plaster last week, but we want to give you a complete new experience every week. So today I'm mixing adhesive mortar. It might look exactly the same, but trust me, it's a completely different material.
Here it is. A fully functional PC. I couldn't be happier. It wasn't straightforward. I spent a whole night and another day I had to download software, install it, call the Microsoft help desk. They're really friendly. I had to call them several times. I think I made a new friend in Bangladesh. But anyway, now it works. It's so fast and smooth and you can switch in between the windows. Oh, that's a coincidence. It's our Patreon page. Look how nice it is on such a big screen. I always want to subscribe myself. Starting from only five euros a month, you get all these extra videos, other goodies, and you support a renovation project and this channel. You should totally check this out. The link is down in the description. I don't think you realize, but I just slipped some self-promotion in this video. Genius. After last week's incident with the cupboard, I had to make a radical decision. I came up with a pedagogical strategy for Nathan, and he spent the entire week carrying heavy logs. It might seem a bit harsh, but if you ever worked with a volunteer yourself, or with an intern for that matter, you should know exactly what I mean. Now he doesn't deserve it, but I decided to give him the chance to be in the spotlight again this week for our next French lesson. Nathan, ceci, c'est du bois fondu. Du bois fondu, autrement dit, Euh, une bûche. Une bûche. Une bûche. Une bûche. Une bûche. 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 <rire> J'ai passé la semaine à soulever ce bois parce mm -hmm. que euh, j'avais un comportement inacceptable. Un comportement inacceptable. Je promets dans l'avenir d'avoir un comportement exemplaire. Un comportement exemplaire. Merci beaucoup Nathan, c'est formidable. De rien, il y a pas de quoi. You see, if you give those young people just a little bit of direction. They can change overnight. When it comes to DIY, I love the idea of discovering new skills, especially if it's somebody else who discovers them. Don't ask me how, but I just managed to convince Anna to give it a go with the plastering, a task that I genuinely hate. Hello, my darling. How are you doing? I'm good. And you? I'm good. Just doing some plastering. I'm just trying to repair where you broke the moulding to put the wire, the electric wire, so hopefully no one will ever notice that you broke it. And I also need to try to repair, there's a lot of cracks in this ceiling, so I'm going to try and fill these as well. What are you doing? Oh, I'm filming you, Anna. I know, but I can see that. But what are you doing otherwise? You're not even in your DIY clothes. Are you skiving? Skiving? What does that mean? Bunking off? I don't know what it means. This is something sexual. Skipping school. Skipping work. You're being lazy. Oh. Anna, did you put makeup on for plastering? Yeah, I did it for the Patreon video earlier. Ah. Anyway, I can I can be makeup up for my plastering if I want, can't oh, I? Oh yes. Oh yes. I can be a glamorous DIYer. Sure. If you don't look down here. So we have a super fast computer, a very nice screen. But in order to make this editing studio perfect, there's one crucial thing missing. And that one thing is in this box, which just arrived. It's like a Russian doll. It's like a box in a box in a box. These are Anna's don't even dare to touch me fabric scissors. And they work perfectly to cut cardboard, tape, everything. Yellow. What do you think? I think it looks perfect. It gives this room this chic yet subtle and elegant je ne sais quoi. Just what was needed to make it look a little bit more grand. Anna's gonna love it. Mm -hmm. 
Hello again. Yesterday, right after me filming Anna walking on the ceiling, we ran into a crisis. The plan was to hide this cable within this molding here, but we realized that by doing this, this molding would completely disappear. So we create a cavity here, a trench, and this beam here will look exactly as it looked originally. Which also means that despite the fact that since yesterday evening I suffer from a condition that Anna diagnosed as a severe form of man flu, I have to bring out a big machine, make a lot of mess, and I truly feel sorry for myself. choice either to continue in the corner without the hoover, which means a lot of dust, or do it manually. Because with a hoover pipe I can't go right into the corner, so I need to sacrifice my creature comfort for the sake of efficiency. <laughs> This is by no means a straight line, but I challenge everybody out there, standing on a precariously wobbly ladder like this, having a severe form of man flu, doing a better job. And now the real magic happens. That was a good one. The last centimeters. <laughs> this is not only a better aesthetic solution once it's finished, but it's also a more legal solution when it comes to French floor because you're not really allowed to plaster this type of cable directly onto a wall. If we put this cable now into this cable housing, we keep things perfectly legal. That's what we should have done to start with. Next time. Hi. It's eight o'clock in the evening and I feel miserable. I've come to the conclusion that my man flow might as well be terminal. I expressed my desire to spend what I believe could be my very last hours with my daughters. But then I said I should rather finish the plastering. I want you to be completely honest with me. After seeing me tackling this enormous job, filling the gap on the ceiling at such a late hour, 8 p.m., and in my condition, severe illness, didn't you think I would have a rest? Of course you did. But that's not me. I am actually in front of the next problem. Now I hear you asking, where does he get the energy from? This power, this strength, this endurance, and does he have a twin brother who looks exactly like him but is single? I don't have a twin brother who looks exactly like me and is single but I'm willing to speak about my next problem. And that's the chimney here. This chimney, of course, is not an original feature of this room. I think it has been installed somewhere at the beginning of the 20th century, but it's not ugly. And we don't have any other chimney to replace it, nor do we have the time. So for now we keep it, but it needs to be repaired. Here, you can see this is not stable. Can you see it? You're far away. I'm surprised it didn't come off earlier. Benoit forgot his precision angle measuring tool. It's a really helpful and precise and important tool. And it's also really good to scratch out dirt from behind the chimney marble. Do you think he's watching these videos? You know what? 
it's probably easier to just completely remove it because, yeah. Somebody obviously tried the same thing already a long time ago. But I assume that the adhesive mortar nowadays is of much better quality than whatever is on here. Let's see if Benoit's tool would work. Ah, it's useless. I wanted to put this into the gaps, but there are no gaps. It's perfect. One more job done. I'm really happy. I even forgot how bad I feel and how ill I am. Hey. Hey, Anna. Perfect timing. Are you still working? I finished the trench and the ceiling. Oh, yeah? What do you think? Oh, that's looking good. I was annoyed about it at the time because I'd spent about half an hour doing it, but I think it was worth it because we've saved one of the features, so... Well, it's one of these things, if you do it the easy way, at one point you will regret and you will always see only that when you come into the room. Yeah. And now it's done. And, but you still need to sand it and to flatten it and then make it look perfect. Yeah, there's still a bit of work, but... But there's a second job I've done and I'm really proud of it. Yeah. And that's this here, look, the chimney. I didn't even notice that you needed to do something. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. You would come in and say, oh, I didn't know it was broken. No, no, I didn't notice it was broken, but I, I know that the fireplate is broken. Yeah, I, I can't repair that one. No. I'm not, uh, I don't know how to weld. I think you can weld it, but I don't know how. If you have any knowledge about welding old cast iron fireplates, drop a note in the comments, please. And also, Anna, can I start complaining about my health condition again? Yeah, I'm sure you're going to anyway, so... Yeah, good. <sighs> it's like now it's a little bit more in my, you know, my, my sinuses. Mm. and my ears and my throat. Okay, yeah, sounds pretty bad. It is. <laughs> you don't have any sympathy with me. No. Do you want me to make you a lemon and honey? Uh, oh, yes. All right. All right. I'll see you in a sec. See you in a sec. Can you put some something in it? What, some alcohol? I think whiskey would, <laughs> would work well. Good morning, Anna. Hello. I feel much better today, Anna. Thank goodness. No more whinging. I wasn't whinging, I was just keeping you updated about my health status. Unfortunately, I'm still too weak to help you with the filling mm -hmm. or whatever you're doing here. What are you doing? Yes, I'm filling. It's a really funny smell. Is that the wood filler? Yeah. You've been sanding, you've sanded everything. The filling, sanding, you protected the floor. <laughs> You've done so much while I was recovering from my severe illness. Yeah, well, somebody has to get it done, Philip. As much as I would have loved to stay with you and put this nice smelling filler onto the wall, I think I need to go and edit the vlog. Yeah, I think so too. So, so you want me to go? Yeah. <laughs> See you later then. Well, I leave you to it then. this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching